last time on the space between we celebrated scott's 50th and brought our boat home on the maiden voyage this time on the space between we prepared to get ready because we got home this day and nick decided he wanted to book the boat for labor day and would arrive this day so we get our first trial charter with eight and a half whole days to get ready what could go wrong So here's load one. I guess I was always pretty good at Jenga. I don't know where we're gonna put Aiden, but we'll squeeze him in there somewhere. mushrooms look at all the stuff and our lettering that we made this morning that's not gonna fit and stuff and stuff and more stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff fun times a little bit of progress. No, we're not. I have proof. There was boxes all over the place. They're just outside. So Scott, we haven't had a bathroom light since we bought the boat. So Scott decided we were going to change it out tonight. Oh, and he took it down. This is what was on the other side. So and this is still hot to the touch. So, um, the thing, he decided to take that down. We might have a melted pile of plastic in the of a boat. Today is brought to you by Tight Spaces. Just spent the last two hours in the engine compartment until it started pouring on your head. Now we are attempting to fix a water heater that doesn't work on the crew side of the ship. Honey. It's Sunday morning. Today's small space is brought to you by a generator. We finished up yesterday's small space in the water heater compartment after a few trips to Sailor Man and a few hours trying to fix one tiny leaky pipe man was able to get it all done and so today it's generator and what's next on your list mm, honestly I don't know <laughs> I'm Maybe sure I'm sure something will pop up <laughs> two engines means twice the fun right honey yeah <laughs> and today's tight space is brought to you by well, it's after morons <laughs> So we found the alternator bolt. I heard the alternator making a little rattling noise. So I decided to come down here and take a look and here's the alternator bolt. So we are uh, working on trying to get a new one in there and see what happened and then fix the tag. Fine times of boat ownership. rather have the job of cleaning up greasy tools when he's done and being stuck in little tiny spaces 
clipping on. Shit, I don't understand how it works. But thank God he does. So it takes a team. And I am glad I have a super handy capable teammate to do things with because there sir seems to be a lot of little things wrong with this boat. Which I guess I don't know, comment below on your purchases and how well they went. I mean, we got a lot of money off of the boat knowing that it had a lot of little things. I don't think we knew how much, how little things, I mean, how many little things were wrong. But luckily, we brought them back here where they could be fixed properly um, by somebody that knows what they're doing. And just like to hear other boat owners to hear how their boat buying process went and how much they had to put sweat equity into it before it's ready to be ship shape. So after three nights of spending the night on this, we decided it is completely necessary to have foam padding, of course. Boat beds aren't square or rectangular like normal beds, so my husband's gonna have to cut these down to size with his little foam cutter. And um, so we're making sure everybody has one on board so everybody is comfortable because these suck. Well, she's the Okra 2 no more. Yep. Nobody. She's probably illegal. No. As long as you don't move. No. We made up the stickers for her, but I forgot to write down the sizes, so we made them a little too big. There's or exactly four inches and two inches on our Key West. So what we have to work with is eleven. First bedroom is complete almost. Have some hang on pictures to hang on the wall still. But room one, charter ready. Nice. So the first visitors to our boat are my sister. My brother-in-law, hey. I'm going to hold. And my nephew, who is a gymnast, and he's going to do that oh, yeah, on our trampoline. <laughs> Way to go, That's Ben! All right. All right. That's it. Getting some more use out of our vinyl printer. Hopefully, on round two of the sip ace between logo for the lettering for the back of the boat. So we got the dink all ready to go. And the truck's all loaded down again. And we're making another trip down to load the boat. And yet again we find ourselves in the predicament of having way too much stuff. Round two. And she fits. Yes. It is 140. This is my grocery slash Costco list for provisions for our first guests on board. Here is my menu for four days. Feeding seven people. Wish me luck. <laughs> um, 
guests arrive at around 6 o'clock, so somehow have to get all this grocery Costco alcohol run back here and unloaded before then. I'm not stressing out at all. <laughs> Space between where smile and is where you'll find me if I get to go. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode when, ready or not, we welcome the Hookie family on board, share a ton of laughs, make some memories, and catch a bunch of fish.